When you're talking forest preserves, man, y'all have not a clue, nigga. They showed us 50 states on the map. Boy, we got way more land than that. And I'm not even talking about when you go outside the ice walls. I'm talking about right here in what they call North America. Come on, man. Do you really think your ancestors wasn't that, was that weak that they was going to conquer every single one of the tribes? No, nigga. Hell no, nigga ain't go like that. Well, they got a section of this bitch. They got a section of our shit. They have a section of our shit. They got probably like 50 to 65% of our land. And that 50 to 65% that they conquered, they named that North America. And even within that, you got tribes that still exist in every fucking state living in these forests and these lands. Whatever state you in in North America, just look at your state. Dive into your state. You think of lying. You want, a lot of y'all won't even have a clue how big your state is because they don't even show you how big the states is. They lying about all the maps anyway. But just still, they give you a little bit. Man, go, go look at your state. Look at how many acres the state is they telling you. And no, it's three times bigger than that. And then also go into how many forest preserves it is and how much land it is. And go look and look at all the towns. And look at all the land in between the town. Boy, you're going to be like, hold up. Hold the fuck up. Hold on, what's going on here, nigga? Every state got pyramids in it. Every state got pyramids in it. I just told my old, I was telling my OG and some old people, my homies and them about the pyramids in Illinois they didn't know about. I'm like, boy, the Cahokia Mounds is fucking a form of pyramids, nigga. Every state got pyramids in it. I don't give a fuck where you go. And in every country, too. But I'm just saying as far as in North America. So I'm making a point about the USA. Right? Boy, it's pyramids and all this shit. The Cahokia Mounds in Illinois is pyramids. And they were way bigger than that. Them are mounds that connect to bigger pyramids and force fields. Because I told you we had pyramids every fucking where made out of crystals. Obsidians. Tourmalines. Amethyst. Tourmalated quartz. Where you think all your crystals come from? What you think? Yeah, right. Wi-Fi. The whole idea of Wi-Fi comes from these crystal towers we had that we were connected to. Oh, man. Let them have eyes see clearly. Okay. So these sundown towns were structured specifically along certain sectors. And they made these sundown towns because when we were warring with them, we were fucking them up the most in these sundown towns. Okay? So to regain the energetic frequency control, they made sure to make, to make them strongholds. Where nigga, you can even be in there after dark because if you be in there after dark in these sundown towns, they don't know if you finna tap into some, into some of the gods or tap into some of the elemental beings. That like to pop up in these certain energetic strongholds they call sundown towns after dark. And this is what they were showing you in Lovecraft Country when the monsters came out, nigga, at dark, nigga. They were kind of tapping into that a little bit. You see what I'm saying? Or how you have heard all these stories about the Mothman prophecies or people seeing Bigfoots. Just go look at all the stories through history of people saying they seen crazy sightings, nigga. You gonna start getting the whole picture. See what I'm saying? Of what they was really seeing and what be really going on at night. See what I'm saying? In these certain locations. And notice the locations where all these crazy sightings that they lined up with all these sundown towns of yesteryear. But a lot of people don't even know about sundown towns. Or let alone that even to this day they still exist. Yes. To this day they still got sundown towns. Boy, Illinois is full of sundown towns. In Vienna, Illinois, that's a sundown town. All in southern Illinois, them sundown, them was sundown towns, boy. That's the worst of the worst of the worst. Where Madison, Wisconsin at, sundown town. They all through every state, I'm just naming. 
Like, for example, in, v in Vienna, Illinois, nigga, that whole city of what's now Vienna was, was it was a number of black people living there. They slaughtered them. They killed them. They, the, the same thing they did in Tulsa and in Rosewood, Florida, in the movie Rosewood, nigga, they did that everywhere aboard us. That wasn't just Tulsa. That's what they don't be telling. They got every motherfucker thinking they just did us like they did Black Wall Street. Nigga, boy, you don't know the half of what they did to your ancestors. And anybody that helped your ancestors, that mean they was killing white people too, nigga. That's why white people was helping us in the Underground Railroad. That's why it's white people that have helped black people rebel through all throughout history, nigga. Keep telling y'all white people y'all ain't get in. But y'all always ride with the rich white people because they look like y'all. But they don't give a fuck about y'all. Don't y'all pay taxes? Yes, you do. Didn't they hit y'all goofy ass with corona and take y'all jobs too and make y'all bills keep rolling? Yes, they did. Don't they send y'all kids to war? They don't send their own. They don't send no rich white kids. They send poor white to middle white class kids to war, nigga, like they do blacks and Latinos. See, you are all, you have all been put under, under deep spells, man. You have all been put under spell magic. I'm trying to unwork the spell when I'm awakening you and helping y'all remember. That's all that is. You're under spells right now. Why you think it's so normal for you to get up and just go to work every day? That don't even seem unnormal to you. But when you break the spell, it do. But when you in the spell, shit, it seemed normal. When I was under the spell, I was normal to get up and go to work every day, nigga. Shit. See? It's normal to you. you that's normal. You think you came down here to work. All that talent you was born with, you think you came out here to go work for somebody else with it? So that's what we sent you down here to do, huh? Think about all the people that work in retail. Do you know that all them shoes and clothes that we got to buy to wear? Because it's against the law not to wear clothes. Let's not forget. It's against the law not to wear this shit. So that's how they force us to wear it. But the people that work in retail, when you selling clothes, that's all cotton. That comes from the land. And how you think they got the cotton? You do know they made us pick so much cotton, right, that they still got millions and millions and millions and millions of pounds of cotton from the shit we picked back in the day. Nigga, we picked cotton for, we know time ain't real, but we picked cotton for 400 years, nigga, sun up to sun down, nigga. You think, you think, where you think all that cotton went? You think they made clothes with it? You, don't you, you really think that they made clothes with all that cotton we was picking for their ass? All them beans we was picking and all that. You really believe they, they sold it and traded it all, huh? So niggas work, niggas work black people. So this includes Latinos. Black people work sun up to sun down, nigga. 400 years. It's hundreds of millions of us at that. Where you think all that cotton went? It's still in circulation. They don't need you to pick it no more, nigga. It's so much of it, nigga, they don't need you to pick it. Who you think all these big designers gonna get their cotton from? When they making they Fendi. That's still all part of cotton and polyesters. And Who you think they copping from, though? They got a cop from somebody to make their clothes. Right? 